You're watching Theme Park Worldwide, where today we're here at Thorpe Park for the first day of the 2023 season. It's so nice to be back. We're going to be checking out all the changes for this season, including getting back on some of our favourites. Looking forward to it. Of course, home to some of our favourite roller coasters in the UK. Stealth, The Swarm, Fantastic Rise. And of course, we'll head round and get on as many different rides and attractions as we can do. It's a weekday today for the opening day, and that's a good thing with Thorpe Park. They always do a weekday opening. Um, so fingers crossed, we're going to get lots of rides in today. It won't be too busy today, but we'll see. Yeah, it's nearly 10 o'clock and the entrance doesn't look too busy at all. Obviously, sometimes the security queues get very busy. Yeah. So a top tip, I normally say, get here early uh, to get parked up and actually get into the park because sometimes you can be waiting ages outside. Luckily, uh, it's pretty quiet this morning, as we can see. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. Lots of rides coming up today, lots of updates. Let's go and step back into the island like no other. And here we are then, crossing over the bridge into Thorpe Park for the first time in 2023. And yeah, as you can see by the flags here, it's a little bit windy today, so hopefully we're going to get plenty of rides in. But obviously safety is always paramount. Fingers crossed we have a better day than we did at Chessington yesterday. Check out the vlog if you haven't already seen it. Unfortunately, ride availability wasn't great, and it wasn't to do with the weather or anything like that. It was just a poor availability day. Mm, it wasn't, no, but uh, obviously check the vlog out. Lots of updates going on around the park, and that's the thing here at Thorpe. Lots of updates to look forward to. And yeah, look at this view out here over the lake. Something that's going to get even more impressive later this year when we start seeing the track and supports go up for Project Exodus. It's going to be located right over there, and you're going to see it rising up here from the entrance bridge. Cannot wait for that. Woo! There we go, morning. Hey! Inside the dome then just here, we've got a big mirror ball just up there as well, very fancy. Oh, it's always good to get back to Thorpe Park and get on some huge coasters. I've just seen the swarm testing, five to ten, let's head round there and go and have a look. Apparently they've done a bit of a refresh round by the swarm this year, so looking forward to seeing that, it needed it I think. Yeah, let's go and uh, check it out round here. Oh, always great to be back and see this view. What a skyline. Now this is Inferno. A few people on there already, it looks like. Maybe staff rides. Because obviously we get to open. Yeah, park opens at 10. Obviously they let you through the turnstiles. And then hold you at these different areas. Ready to let you down into the park. Saw's going round over there as well. Don't think we're going to be getting Colossus today. Because obviously they've been doing some retrack work. Um, but yeah, we'll go and have a closer look at that later. I think we'll head down this way to the swarm, shall we? Oh, I don't think we're going to be in for a quiet opening day this year. It's normally not too busy at all for opening with it being a weekday. We have some crowds here and it looks like the swarm's not ready yet. Not oh no, we'll see what happens. It's quite windy though. It is, so it is yeah, that, that's the thing. When it comes to wind and stuff, safety is paramount. It, it, what annoys me more is when rides aren't ready for the start exactly. of the season. Wind, yeah, weather, there's nothing the park can do about it. But uh, we'll get around bringing the latest updates and try and get as many rides in as we can do. But yeah, this looks a lot better here. You have containment here, which was a scare attraction, and they just left the containers here for the past few years unused. Uh, but yeah, they took them away and just turned it into a little picnic area. And it's much nicer now because obviously you've got depth charge over there and some great views of the swarm from here as well. But more seating, more picnic areas. Yeah, it's a positive from me, and it's cleaned it up. It looks a lot better. Better. Well, we're going to leave the swarm for now and head down towards Saw the Ride because that's showing us open on the app, so we're going to have a look down there. Um, yeah, put some new fencing in down here. It looks like they're trying to grow all planting just up here over the rocks as well because they put these bamboos in down here. So it might not look great at the moment, but it'll look good when it starts growing up there. Well, saw the rise in action just behind us, so we'll get on there shortly. And yeah, here we go. We're not going to be riding Colossus today. The new track is yet to go into place. The park did share a photo of it the other day, um, which does look great. It's nice how they're doing this retracking project. Shame it's not complete for the start of the season. But um, yeah, we were hoping to get on there because actually the park was saying just a few days ago it was going to be open. It's going to be open, obviously. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. So we've got no track in place here yet. Fingers crossed soon. Yeah, it's a shame that uh, it's not been complete for the start of the season, but it is good that they're doing that project. Oh, oh they need more rides. Oh, okay. At least it's open. Well, we need 15 people, then we'll get on Samurai. <laughs> right, let's go and have a go on Saw. And yeah, lo loads of changes down here as well because they've actually moved the Thorpe Bell boat, which was home to Saw Alive for many years. And that was parked at the side, and they've pushed that out into the water a bit more uh, to make this a big open picnic area with some big views. Uh, so we'll have a close look at that later. Oh, it's busy. Zero minutes according to the board. I think we're in for another fun day, unfortunately. Oh, well, we thought we'd take a chance and join the single rider queue, and it's paid off because there's only one first in front of us. So we'll all get straight on in singles. 
And yeah, made the most of it. I think that was a wise choice. <laughs> Off our first ride of the 2023 season at Thorpe Park. Saw the ride. How was it for you? I wasn't running too bad to be honest. On the front road, Yeah, it's all right if you're on the front. And actually, I didn't have too much of a sore head from that this time. I find it a lot worse on the back. Uh, but it was really good. And I tell you what, I'll be having more rides on there this year than I probably ever have done. And that's because of a certain roller coaster being built behind you it. Some fantastic views over the construction site. You can see how they've actually started to clear the way for the foundations now as well. Uh, that's for Project Exodus. Honestly, it's very exciting. And yeah, really looking forward to that next year. And the views that you get already from on there are great. And the good thing is as well, when that area opens next year, you'll be able to look back at Saw the Ride and get some better views of that as Which well. really good, so it works both ways. Yeah, because Saw was all quite hidden with all the trees behind it. Um, but no, it was really good getting back on there, actually. I quite enjoyed it. And the good news is we just checked the app and more rides are open. No Colossus as expected, uh, but lots of other rides are open. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. And talking of Project Exodus, they've actually updated the boarding round here now as well. As you can see, taking thrills to new heights, something epic is on the horizon. We're the first to know, of course, and it shows the picture of the lake just here as well. And, oh, I tell you what, I am so excited for this. I really am. Let's have a little peek through here now. Obviously, last time we saw from inside the park, um, all the buildings were still in place here. Look at that. It's so empty in there now all being cleared, ready for the major construction to begin it's now. It's such an iconic thing to be seen built. It is, the UK's oh, tallest roller coaster, it's rain's coming in. It's such a good thing to look back on and we'll say we saw the biggest coaster in the UK being built, which is really exciting to see. This hasn't happened since 1994 no, in the no, UK. I've never seen it because I wasn't born. 236 foot tall, it's going to really take over the skyline here. Stealth looks massive on the skyline, but yeah, Project Exodus, really excited for it. Oh, it's just started absolutely throwing it down. We've just had our first entry into Club 236 as well today. We have indeed. So every time you visit this season and you scan your Merlin annual pass, you get entered into Club 236. Yeah, which is a competition to be the first to ride on Project Exodus when it opens in 2024. I think that's a really nice incentive that the park have actually the done as well. The more times you visit, the more entries you get. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be some locals who are coming in and scanning every day or most days. But uh, no, it's a really nice little perk that they're doing and just adds to the excitement building up for the ride. Typical British weather today. We thought we'll just stand in Nemesis Inferno's exit shop for a minute and let it pass. Literally two minutes later, sun's out and yeah, rain stops. But uh, here we go. This is the only Nemesis for us to enjoy this year with the original, opened in 1994 at Alton Towers, closed for its major retract project. But it will be back next year. And I'll tell you what, Nemesis Inferno is still a fantastic ride. It is quite windy, but luckily it's opened up. I'm glad more things have. I thought we were going to be in a bit of a bad situation. Not the park's fault with the weather of course um, but yeah I'm glad that uh, this has opened up so we're gonna have a ride on Nemesis Inferno oh I love seeing stealth just there and then of course we've got the screen that just sent wind on there hopefully we get it today we'll see what happens safety's paramount though well yeah we are gonna get Nemesis Inferno hopefully five minute wait and it goes on to wind just there as well keeps reminding us oh yeah let's see what happens yeah it doesn't look too busy this one there it is at least they are very clear with the signings though which is good when you're in the park now it's Inferno, 20 years old this year, opened in 2003. Good couple of years they were, 2002 Colossus, and then 2003 Nemesis Inferno. Back to back, major coaster years. there for Nemesis Inferno and I tell you why it's always great getting back on that it is a brilliant BNM inverted roller coaster isn't it controversial I actually 
first nemesis. Oh, the original I nemesis. Really like this one. You're not the only one. You're not the only one. Most people prefer nemesis itself, but uh, yeah, I can see why. This is a fantastic it's a great ride coach. still. I just really enjoy it. Yeah, it's got some great forces. I remember going on this 20 years ago now. It makes me feel old. <laughs> 20 years ago, riding this opening year and saying, oh, it feels really forceless, and it's aged so well, like Coach has. Really it does, like especially it. coming down that first drop to the left and then up into the first loop, which is my favourite inversion on there. I think that's great. And that final kind of stall turn uh, up into the brake run as well. I think that's great. Just really. Theme Park Worldwide on YouTube. <laughs> Love it. Uh, oh, it's great to be back in the park, oh, isn't it? Is good it? To be back. Loads of updates over here at the former Darren Brown's Ghost Train, but we'll come and check that out later on as well. Um, but yeah, there's also some new Nemesis Inferno merch in the yeah, shop. Some really nice. Things. Yeah, with 20 years on, so we're going to have a look at that later. We thought we'll just make the most of it outside now the weather's calmed down a bit. We've seen the swarm operating. Let's go and get Yeah, on my favourite coaster here. Let's go and get a ride on the wind coaster. Oh, and there she is, the UK's first and only wind coaster for now. Because obviously we've got another BNM wind coaster opening in May at Chessington World of Adventures. Look at that beauty. Well, they came from the sky, that's what I heard, and so did New 16 as well. Welcome back to the Swarm Island just here. Fantastic coaster this is, I absolutely love it. It might not be the longest ride, but it's well themed, it's a full immersive experience around here. And stealth testing, hey, that's what we like to see. Hopefully, we're gonna get stealth in today, I really hope so. Oh, you're seeing it roar around the track just there. Fantastic, there goes stealth again. Hope we're gonna get it. Like, it seems like the wind's dropped off quite a bit now, which is great. Let's go and join the queue. It's the end of the world. Oh, it's absolutely walk on as well. Fantastic. I have to have a few rides on this. One of my favourite UK coasters. And here we are then in the station for the swarm. And yeah, they've actually done a refresh in here. At first when we walked into the area, we thought they hadn't really done anything. But yeah, now we're here in the area. As you can see, they've painted up all around the sides here, all the wooden clad in, and also down here by the gates as well which just look fantastic. Yeah, I'm glad they've done that. Should be done every winter really to keep it looking fresh, but still I'm glad it's finally been done. It was looking very tired last year around here. Let's go and ride on the swarm. on the swarm right near the back of the train as well and I tell you what I love that coaster to bits it might not be the longest layout but it's got a lot of elements packed in fantastic wing over drop which is awesome and the hang time on there is great I love the hang time on the final inversion as well over the station another controversial one I'm not a huge fan of the swarm unfortunately I just find it a little bit too intense for me it is quite an intense ride and I do love a good wing coaster and the forces on there are really good but it's not for everyone no I just find it too intense I do really like the theming round here and it's nice it's Right. Other than a bit of refreshing in the station as well, and um, that's stuff really that they should be doing every year. Uh, but I'm glad that they have done it. You know, it, yeah. yeah, it was all peeling off last year. The station needed some major TLC, and that's the thing. When you build a station that's not got a roof on, it's going to have a lot of wear and tear. Yeah, definitely. But uh, no, it's looking good, uh, and it was great to get back on there. We'll come back later and have another go because we thought we'll prioritise getting on stealth because that's open now. Yeah, and the black clouds are coming in now, so I think we might yeah. be washed out. It was pretty windy when we was at the top really? just there as well you got I think 127 foot tall up there on the swarm you can really feel the wind stealth 205 so yeah I think we're really gonna feel it looks like it's clearing the top pack quite well but we'll go and have a look over there because last week at the annual pass previews there was three rollbacks oh, on there wasn't there no. of course it's all part of the standard procedure for a train to roll back and break safely but it's a bit of an enthusiast dream where we all want a rollback I've never had one I've been close to getting one I was a train off um, but I've never had one but so uh, you never know maybe one day <laughs> we'll head around there though and uh, hopefully we'll get a ride on stealth. I think we're going to wait quite a while though because we're not fully loading the trains. 
The all that rain starting to come down a little bit now, but Stell still operating over there, so we'll see how we get on. Unfortunately, no tidal wave today, Charlotte. Yes. Hey, Charlotte's happy about that. Tell you what, it looks weird not seeing all the water in the bottom just here. Just keep it. Oh, I don't know. Hopefully, we'll be back over again soon. I don't think we would have got on it today, though, with this weather. Typical British weather, isn't it, today? Literally 10 minutes ago, sun was shining. Like, look at that shot that we had down by Nemesis Inferno. But look at this, how fast it's running today over the top. Look, oh, I don't know, it looks normal speed, I'd say, normal speed. We had three rollbacks last weekend, but you never know. Zero minutes according to the board, but I don't think it is, because it's all the way back down there. But it looks like they're running full trains now, which is good. Let's go and join the queue. We're trying to get on it. I don't know if we're going to get it or not. I mean, the wind is starting to pick up, but we will see. It's worth joining the queue and seeing what happens, definitely. Really needs the sign update, and it's definitely not zero minutes, but we'll see what happens. You get some great views looking over there at the swarm from this queue line, which is great as well. Swarm looks awesome, doesn't it? Here from the queue line of style. I like how they chopped all these trees back a few years ago so you can see it better. Fantastic layout. Well, they seem to be dispatching pretty quick on south, which is good. Two full trains now as well. It's a good sign. Oh, clear with good speed there. Good speed. It's just starting to throw it down again, but hopefully it'll be all right. Probably about 15 minutes away. <laughs> in the queue so the ride went down for about 15 minutes and to be honest I'm quite glad that it did because it's not very comfortable stealth in the rain however it then reopened meaning that we waited about an hour in total we was right at the back and it was fantastic I don't mind waiting a little bit longer so that we didn't get absolutely <laughs> soaked but I love stealth it's such a fantastic coaster it really is the launch is very powerful especially towards the back of the train and yeah straight over the top pack with a good speed as well uh, no roll back for us today <laughs> maybe one day we might get it but you know what it was great to get back on there it really was stealth is one of the best roller coasters in the whole country it really I is absolutely love it. yeah and even though it's going to get top for height here next year with project exodus it's still going to be a very popular and iconic ride for this park you know back in 2006 i remember it going up and being really excited for it and it is a fantastic intermin launch coaster uh yeah the weather today like it's so unpredictable I know, isn't it, it just keeps sunning and it's raining <laughs> i don't know what's going on the way i see it is i've been here just under three hours and we've got four major coasters Good, I think so. Yeah, it is, yeah. And obviously we know we're not going to get on Colossus today with them doing that track work. We will go and have another look at that later, though. Um, but yeah, so we've got the big rides that we're are open, uh, which I'm very pleased about. But we've got lots of updates to get in, starting off with a re-theme of Storm in a Teacup. So yeah, let's go and have a look. And here's a look at the re-theme of Storm in a Teacup to Double Tea Party. We've got Charlotte dancing here. Thought Park, everybody. Opening day. Whee! <laughs> Now, double is a game, isn't it? No, I just want to say thanks to the Thought Park marketing team for giving us these just here. We've got the game itself and this big hand just here. <laughs> so it is a sponsorship of the ride. We have the painted it all purple and yellow. And yeah, put it all on the teacups here. And we love the new soundtrack. Very bouncy, isn't it? <laughs> there she is. I'm a big fan of the new soundtrack on there. It's really funky. You have a proper bop to it when you're on the ride, which is really good. And yeah, I love soundtracks. And what they've done on there is really good. Anyway, here's a look over here at Rumba Rapids. Let's go and have a go on here. Stealth back in action. It went down again, actually. In fact, there's nobody on it. Just testing there. I'm glad we went on it. It launched about seven or eight times, and we was on one of those. Yeah, I'm glad that we managed to ride. Should we go on Rumba Rapids just there, Charlotte? Oh, yeah, Rumba, especially because we've not been on Congo River Rapids yet at Alton Towers. Let's uh, go on Rumba just here. Rumba! It's not that bad. 
ride there on Rumba Rapids. And I tell you what, we got really wet on there as well. I expected to get that wet. My yeah. leg is so. Yeah. To be honest, a massive wave came over, didn't it? We were sat in the seat because it came. Yeah. And we still got some of it, didn't we, coming over? Yeah. Well, that was really good. That's the best ride I've had on Rumble Rapids in many years, actually. Maybe it felt like they sped it up a little bit with the wave machines or something. I don't know, but it was good. Next ride, Detonator. Oh, look at this. Oh, the teasing people as well up there at the top. <laughs> oh, I do love a bit of Detonator. Literally just holding people up there. There we go. And then without the countdown, dropping them down. Fantastic. Right, again, have a go on here. Just me on this one, I think. You're not coming on, Charlotte? No, I don't. <laughs> it's intense. The queue line for Detonate is actually a great place to come to get shots of Nemesis Inferno as well. I think it's gone down now, unfortunately. But yeah, you get some really good shots here, especially the first drop on the loop. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Oh! <laughs> oh, you missed out there, Charlotte, with Detonator. I love how the operator is teasing people. We got everybody to count down because it was a little lad's 11th birthday. So they're like, right, let's all count down from 11. And he drops it on three. <laughs> love the teasing. Fantastic. It's a great drop tower manufactured by Fabry, opened in 2001. Top speed of 50 miles an hour as it comes down from 115 feet. It's a I great ride. Like all the facts there for Detonator. Love it. Right, we're going on the indoor coaster now. The Walking Dead, the ride. We'll see when we come off. While we just had our ride there on The Walking Dead, walk straight on, it's got a pre-show and then yeah, you're onto the ride itself. And I tell you what, all the effects are working, it was great. Yeah, it was running really well. Also a point to make, it now has a single rider queue, which is really good. Yeah, even though normally you can't ride it on your own, can you, you know, in a row. So it's good now that groups of three or five or something like that, if it's a single ride, you can all ride together. Yeah, obviously it doesn't work as well on a quiet day, but on a busy yeah, day, that should be all right. Really well. Yeah, it'll help out that well, because you've got to have two in each row for it to send. Yeah. Having a single ride line, but later in the season, which yeah, is really good. Really pleased to see we need that Alton Tower, some more single riders back. Oh, so we've got it on the Smiler, but uh, no, fantastic. Yeah, some good effects on there. Great coaster, no inversions or anything like that, like I say. Um, but yeah, it's got an effect very similar to the mummy on there, where you drop down and all the smoke comes out, and it was actually working. Like, I've not seen it working for a while. Anyway, you're going to have a nice ride on Rush just over here now. Make the most of some of the permanent flat rides they've got here at Thorpe Park round in this area. Love Rush. Looks like it's not running the best though. And yeah, it was a walk on queue, and to be honest, I'm pretty pleased about that. That ride now has really shown its age, isn't it? It just didn't really do a lot, to be honest. <laughs> no, obviously, it's a huge swing, and normally you get going really quickly two or three swings, and you'd be up at the full height, and you'd then get maybe four or five big swings at full height. You're not getting that now. We had one at full height, which is a shame, really. It's a shame. Yeah, it's an older ride now, really, and obviously, you know, I think it's probably had its day. And at the end as well, which was really weird, we had to sit there for at least two, maybe three minutes um, before it was parked. Though. Yeah, what was going on. yeah, it wasn't just our time. We've just watched it again. It did it again. So very strange that one. Um, but I think it's really shown its age now, Rush. Uh, I'd like to see a new replacement for it in the future. Obviously, if they're taking out flats, it's important to put what new ones exactly. in so you don't end up in an Alton Tower situation. And that's what Chessington and here have been really good at in the past, replacing flat rides with new ones. Um, but yeah, I think something that would be great here is one of the giant interim gyro swings. That would go down so well. Yeah, even in this location or maybe out swinging out over to the water. And that would be fantastic. But you've still got lots of other flats to enjoy down here as well. Of course, you've got Quantum along with that Zodiac and also Vortex as well. I 
castle down this end. Let's have a look inside the lower dome, which has had some refresh work done for this year. Oh, it looks a lot cleaner in here than it did before with all the lighting. A little bit bland on the walls. I think some nice big thought power pictures of all the rides and maybe some Exodus teasers or something to be nice in here on the walls just to help build the hype. But it does look a lot better than it did before. It was never great down here, was it? Like, it was never a big fan. It felt very old school, 80s kind of shopping centre vibes. But yeah, it looks a lot better. And obviously, you've got the toilets down in here. You have a little disco in here as well. <laughs> it's flat ride central down in this part of the park. I do love it, of course, with Quantum just over there as well. Rush swinging away in the background. There's a look at Zodiac. And just here on the left, Vortex, which is closed due to wind at the moment. Might get a ride on there later. Hey, was that a shout out? <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> love it. And we were speaking a couple of minutes ago about a large new flat ride here. Maybe an intimate gyro swing or something like that to replace Rush. It would go great over on this area, swinging out over the water. Especially now they've cleared space over here where the old Thorpe Bell boat used to be. Of course, for many years that was a scare attraction known as Saw Alive. Now it's parked up over there. Whether it's going to stay there for ages or if they're going to maybe demolish it over time, I'm not too sure. Personally, I hope they do demolish it because obviously, you know, it's one of them things now that um, it was sinking for quite some time water was leaking into it it wasn't in an operational state hence why we've not been in there for many years but it looks a damn sight better over there than it did when it was just moored up over at the side here and we can't go in here yet but it is going to be a new picnic area however picnic area or in the future could we see development there you know it's interesting to see isn't it I hope so. Get some like more rides down there, maybe. I think a big gyrus would look amazing swinging out over the walls here, something like Loki at Lisibo. But let's have a closer look around here and we'll have another look at Colossus and see what's going on there. Love the new photo opportunity here as well. And Charlotte over here, what are you? Twister, hey. <laughs> that's fantastic. You can also be. There she is. Oh, that's amazing. That. I'll have to take a photo of you in there. That's funny, that is. I tell you what, it does make me really sad to see Colossus in the state that it is. I mean, this is the coaster that made Thorpe Park the huge thrill capital that it is to this day. And yeah, it looks very tired and run down. I do appreciate that they're doing the retrack work. It's not actually being done by Intamin, the manufacturer. It's being done by the same company that are retracking the big one at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And they've done a pretty good job of that. So yeah, hopefully um, they'll do a good job of this. But the issue is they're just doing a few sections probably every year. You know, that looks really shiny and new. It really could have done with the old track just painting up and the supports it's looking very tired and mold growing up the supports That's the issue we've got here we're gonna have this lovely new colored track and then the rest of it just does not look great at all it looks really dirty no nah, it's not looking good got a nice costa there yeah, we've got a nice cup of tea <laughs> lovely well yeah this is a little look out of that new picnic area just over here i tell you what it looks a lot better that does now without having the boat there oh they put some planters in the fence along the side yeah you get a better view looking out at the old sort of live boat just over there yeah a lot of people might not realize it was built on a boat but it was the old Thorpe Bell that they used to have here well it's hard to really say how many sections have been taken out here for replacements but yeah it's a good few of them and you can see the supports here as well but look at the supports I'm like, sure they're not just going to put this lovely new track up and leave the supports all grubby like this it needs some big TLC colossus it's the ride that made Thorpe Park the part that it is today come on Thorpe let's see this sorted out it really needs it Well, we're just a five minute wait for Samurai. It'd be rude not to have a go. And yeah, they've actually replaced the signage here as well. Much like the rides down in Lost City as well. So yeah, five minute wait. I'll go on and show we'll get some off ride. Some off -ride here we go, Samurai.
platform was going to be the best views for construction of Exodus, but I was wrong. Honestly, get yourself on Samurai, the views are absolutely epic looking over the site. Like, it was amazing, I couldn't believe how much they've actually done from on there. You can see loads. We've actually started to work on the main foundations now, what's going to hold um, the lift deal and of course some of the inversions on the ride. Uh, brilliant to see, I cannot wait to follow it. Um, but yeah, it was great views on there. The cycle itself wasn't very good, but this is the one season where I don't mind Samurai running a bit slower. Um, it means we can take in the awesome views just here. Perfect view over the site. And it's still quite hard to grasp really after many years of the big one being the tallest roller coaster in the UK. You've got to think that opened when I was one years old and you weren't even born. <laughs> oh, crazy. We're going to be standing here looking at something 236 foot tall. And when we say here, literally right here, it's going to be towering up into the sky and it's going to look amazing it really is i've said before and i'll say it again i'm a bit worried about the length i think it is going to be a bit short but still i think the ride itself is going to be fantastic i think it's going to feature one of the best first drops ever on a coaster and uh, along with that as well seeing something so tall being built in the uk is amazing especially after a tough few years for everyone over here uh, this is going to be absolutely amazing hey here they come hey! a little bit of roman street theater Thor Park Parade, this is. Whee! <laughs> the thrill makers in action. Oh, I love the bit of entertainment going on there. And as you might see in the background, they've changed the signage on Burger King and they've actually done a refresh of the other BK over at the other side. So then that's a sign that that's not going anywhere anytime yeah, soon. Quite popular, though, to be honest. Yeah, and I think with the kind of Aramark takeover, a lot of the, well, Thorpe owned units and the same at the other Merlin parks. I think it's nice that down here at Thorpe, they're keeping BK and also KFC, Which hopefully, as well. See, yeah. yeah, definitely, because we do like those. Ooh, we've also got a few other new uh, food and beverage outlets. We're off to see a new cafe uh, around here now. And you've also got the uh, chocolate. Chocolate Lodge from Cadbury's just over there as well. It's not open yet, but that looks quite good, doesn't it? Love a bit of Cadbury's. While also new for 2023 at Thorpe Park is a huge refresh of Darren Brown's Ghost Train. And I think a lot of you will agree with us that the fact this has been a long time in the making, we've really been wanting to see some upgrades to this because let's face it, the VR was very unreliable on here, wasn't it? I wasn't a massive fan, to be honest. The VR was just so unreliable, but we've got some new tellies because there's the box down. Yeah, new TVs. And they've actually refreshed the facade out here. When I first saw it, I wasn't too keen because it looked really bright. Now they've kind of weathered it a little bit bit um, it looks very different to the top of the building the kind of Victorian style from 1871 uh, so I don't think they're gonna do any changes at the top and obviously with the bricks it looks a bit weird still however I'm looking forward to seeing what they've done on the inside mainly I'm, with this I'm hoping that it's just gonna be a lot better and a bit more reliable we know there's no VR anymore I think that's a good thing to go past the VR which is good yeah that times you know flew away and we don't need that anymore as much as Darren was great when it first opened uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what they've done inside but let's go around the corner and we'll talk a bit more about it and there's a look at the logo for Ghost Train. Kind of like the light shining from the train itself through the logo. And yeah, opening in spring, so within the next couple of months, I'd yeah, say. we're not too far away. Yeah, fingers crossed. And here's a look, of course, at that concept art that they actually revealed. You can see like down here, all the sparks coming off the track. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what they've done with this because it has got a lot of potential, actually. Obviously, all the signage hasn't gone into place yet um, down here. However, we've got some changes off to the left. The last called cafe and shop. And yeah, they've done the blue doors and windows all the way down here as well, which looks very different. I'm not sure how I feel about the blue and then like the brown exterior, but I think it's still a work in progress, especially the top bits. But should you have a little look inside? It's nice with photos that we've seen. Yeah, it looks uh, quite well themed in here. And another indoor place to come and chill out as well, which is always a good thing when you're coming here to the parks. Little cafe. Oh, it's nice. oh there we go. So this used to be Darren Brown's shop before. There you go. A little cafe or cakes just in here. Costa coffee as well. It does. Also, they've kept like the floor in and all the and um, the ceiling and some of the props around the side, and obviously put all these in as well. Yeah, and I reckon this will be the ghost train shop just here when that opens. Yeah, obviously you've got the scanners on here, and you can see like all the blue colour around the side. Quite a lot of seating, and yeah, look at this. This is nice. You know, it reminds me of a little bit, Charlotte. Can you guess what I'm thinking or not? In my head, of a certain ride in Florida. Oh yeah, how <laughs> good, how good that express. Don't you think it looks a bit like that? You kind of the style of it. There you go, a bit like Hogwarts Express. But this looks really good in here. I think it needs some audio and stuff. But yeah, like a little bit of light audio. I think that they'll do that when um, when the ride ends. Yeah, yeah, it looks great. And they've got quite a few of those all the way around for seating. 
And along with that, you've also got the Camden Junction Bar that's going to be opening over there as well. So quite a few new offerings actually with food and refurbished bits as well. Bringing new stuff in each year, which is good to see. Yeah, definitely. I would love to see them update this now. I'm really not a fan of all this on here. I think it looks, uh, yeah, it just looks really cheap. I mean, I don't mind all the stripes and things on there. I think that doesn't look too bad, but the actual uh, mural on the back there, it just looks really cheap, doesn't it? Like in the middle of the area. You know, I'm not a, a huge fan of that at all. I don't mind it too much, but it doesn't really fit. Oh, no, no, I'd, I'd much rather the building was just painted a nice color. Lots of updates to cover as always here at Thorpe Park and we're going into the mega store just here now. Charles, oh, nice little dance. Let's go and have a look at the new merch. Here's a look then at the new merchandise selection here. And yeah, as you can see, they've got the logo, but without the wording on, which is really different. I, I like the mug. It's like a little subtle thing, isn't it? Yeah, that's quite nice. I really it, like that. I Established 1979 just on there. And yeah, you've got the caps just here as well. Got the little teddy bears. They're quite cute, aren't they? Better than the monkeys that we got at Alton Towers. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got this mug just up here as well. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Not having the name across the front just there, but it is, it is in the top. Um, but yeah, yeah, there's all the prices for everything that you can see just here as well. Got the little key rings just down there as well with the nice color scheme. I do like the blue and orange. I do think it, you know, it comes together quite nice. Got some socks there as well. Yes, yeah, so we continue with loads of this branding. 45 pounds there for the hoodie. And the t-shirt there is 25, but yeah, as you can see, it's embroidered on there as well, which is good. Yeah, you got all the lanyard, shopper bag just up there as well. Look at this, just here, quite retro. Style vibes that that is on there. I can't like this, yeah, actually. it's quite good. It reminds me of like a spirit jersey. It is, yeah, it is basically like a spirit jersey, isn't it? Really yeah. like that. Yeah, it's very colourful. I can see you in that, Charlotte. Quite a lot of uh, new merchandise here. There we go, another Thought Park mug just here. You got the classic Rangers mug down there as well, which is good. Patches. I do like how they got the sew on patches there and all these different branding that they've got. Pin badges, of course, over here as well. Loads of pins. Oh, I love this style cushion over here. That is right on my street. Oh, that is fantastic. We got a price on there. Oh, where's the price? Is it down there? Is it 15? Oh, I've knocked it off. 15 pounds. There we go. I think they're fantastic, like a big tire. And of course, you've got all your ride specific merch over here as well. The Swarm, Colossus just over there. Stealth down here. Nemesis Inferno. And yeah, I do like the ride specific stuff, especially the fact they're referencing 20 years of Nemesis Inferno as well as there with the t-shirts. That's 20 pounds and it's got 20 on it. I like how it's 20 pounds for 20 years. I don't think this will be 20 pounds, but that is really nice. I love that on there. Nemesis Inferno with the 20 and that's priced at 40 pounds we can see on there. I love this. Oh, on the oh that's amazing. The basic spirit jerseys aren't they? A bit they? of a thinner material spirit jersey, but I really like them. Oh, how much are those? Um, like, they're, they're really nice, those are. Pounds. I love oh, that's not bad. Times ten. Like this place. Yeah, God, there's some there's nice some stuff. Really good, really good stuff at Thorpe this year. That's not something that you see every day. Detonator being lowered down just over there, very slowly. It wouldn't be a very exciting ride if it was like that, would it? Obviously, they've had some problems with it. They're doing some tests on there. Well, yeah, I'm really pleased everything that we've got done here at Thorpe Park today. Uh, we was a bit worried earlier on. We managed to get round and do lots. So yeah, just do some re-rides. I wouldn't mind doing stealth again, maybe, and the swarm as well. So yeah, we'll get some re-rides done. And we'll see you a little bit later on. Of course, here's a look at Tidal Wave as well, fully drained. Hopefully, it will be back at some point in the near future. Well, it just started to absolutely throw it down again outside. The black clouds were coming over, so we thought it was going to come in again, so didn't we? we? Call it again. <laughs> so, you know what, we've got a couple more rides in, which is good. And I'll tell you what, it's ended up being a really good day here at Thorpe Park's opening day. I've really enjoyed today. It's good to get back on my yeah, definitely, including Stealth. That was riding brilliant, really enjoyed I that. That was my favourite. The launch on there, of course, is incredible. And along with that, getting back on the Swarm, my favourite coaster here. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed having a couple of rides on there. Along with that as well, of course, we had saw the ride. It was running pretty good earlier on. Uh, and of course, Nemesis Inferno. Great to get on an inverted coaster again in the UK this year. Nemesis Inferno. Especially with the original Nemesis being closed this year for the retrack work um, over at Alton Towers. Talking of retracking, it was quite unique seeing Colossus actually 
we have that track it in place. Yeah, hopefully it'll be put back in place soon. Yeah, definitely. Especially, you know, because they put the old track back in, took that out, put the new track in, took that out. Uh, hopefully it won't be too long until that's up. Really excited for Ghost Train. Not too long to go, hopefully, with it opening in spring. And it's looking quite promising, so I think that's going to be really I'm exciting. I'm to see what they've done inside. New merchandise, that's on point this year. I really love the merch this year. Yeah, and in terms of the great variety of flat rides here, it's always a pleasure getting on the likes of Detonator, Fantastic Drop Tower, um, Rush wasn't riding great, um, but still, I'm glad we got on and there. It's permanent flat. Yeah, The Walking Dead, the ride was really good today as well, um, with all Lovely the effects working, uh, which was fantastic. But uh, lots going on, and then of course the main highlight was going on Samurai for me oh, and looking really over Exodus. That. Oh, that was amazing. I'll be riding that a lot this year, um, checking out the construction of the new UK's tallest roller coaster, um, Project Exodus, 236 foot tall, opening next year in 2024. But it's been a really good day. We was worried about the weather earlier, but you know what? Uh, we have got a bit wet throughout the day, but it's been all right, it's hasn't it? No, definitely. I really hope they can get tidal wave open soon, because it really adds a big energy <laughs> inside the park. Um, yeah, right in the middle of the park. It does, yeah. Seeing it go round, seeing people come off soat, Charlotte's soat. No, I'm not going on it again. <laughs> oh, I absolutely love it. Uh, and of course, along with that as well, uh, the park's looking quite fresh, quite a lot of work going on um, in areas over winter. And so, yeah, I look forward to returning again soon. Lots of events coming up this year, and of course, lots of regular Exodus updates, um, especially later on in the year when there's a lot more happening on the site as well. But I don't think it's going to be too long before we start seeing even more foundations so. and, of course, the vertical construction of the ride itself. But uh, yeah, I just want to point out as well, Double was quite good fun. Yeah, the soundtrack. Play the game. Yeah, the soundtrack was really Love good. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed that as well. Nice little fun addition for this year. But there we go, that's opening day done here at Thorpe Park. And that leaves us with one final thing to say get out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. We'll see you tomorrow at Paulton's Park. Thank mm -hmm. you.